Hello there. Once again, welcome to a Kerry Learning Channel. And in this session, I will uh, explain you and show you how to create a destination store ID or a destination ID for App Center distribution task. Actually, this uh, video is uh, very uh, related to the the Azure uh, pipeline series for Xamarin Android and uh, Xamarin uh, iOS and App Center. So th this video is basically show you how to create destination store ID or destination IDs for your Azure pipeline. So things to be uh, covered in this section that how to uh, create first we will create the app ID or I would say API tokens there and then we will create uh, use this api token to creation of destination id so uh, if you remember that uh, there are relevancy behind like a destination store id and destination id so in if you going to uh, fill the form for the task for app center it shows that destination ID, but the same destination ID is showing. Uh, it it is represented inside the YML file in the form of called destination store ID. So don't be confused. It is same uh, this same thing, right? So uh, as I mentioned, this is the very important uh, parameter for app center distribution task, right? In Azure pipeline, uh, and uh, it is it is required. In case of if you are going to use uh, as a uh, uh, store for you uh, store to release your build there right so if you mention uh, that as uh, release destination group store then this parameter becomes uh, required or I would say mandatory but if you select it release destination group uh, re release destination as a group this is uh, optional parameter so uh, I would here cover for the in the point of that I am considering or I will do my uh, build to be released on a store right so that's why it is important or mandatory to uh, have a uh, destination store ID right so uh, if to create uh, or get the destination IDs or destination store ID you need you must have a app id or app api token or user app api token it based on the users i have already explained the users and the difference between uh, app api token or user api token in my video call uh, what is app center service connection and how to create app center service connection so i would recommend you all to watch this video to get understanding and you will able to understand the users of your uh, API token or I would say the app API token or user API token in, in a great detail right so I have already added the uh, the uh, video link or uh, URL inside the this video description so uh, you, I would recommend you to watch this video yeah uh, once you ha you will get the app API uh, app API token then we will you uh, we will be invoke uh, the open api you are api for distribution uh, task or i would say distribute task uh, api list so the this is a basically uh, open api url for getting the distribution uh, uh, id or a distribute id right so uh, there are list of uh, apis available on uh, open api app center uh, app center so you may uh, use it based on your usage. Uh, then it requires uh, three parameter. First, once you click on unlock icon, then you need to log in with your uh, app API token or user API token. And then you need to specify input as uh, two parameter inside the form, which I'll be showing you now and uh, call like uh, honor name and app center. You can get the honor name an app name with the your app center url like uh, if you have a app center url call like uh, here in the example i mentioned that xamarin cicd slash app where i am then the xamarin cicd basically is the app so the difference the difference between uh, apps basically create the honor name 
and uh, left side uh, mention the owner name and the right side choose about the app name so let's show some uh, let me uh, show you or uh, show you the hand how to create thing right so i am inside my pipeline for my app called app sent uh, where i am right and uh, here you can see uh, that i just have a uh, these all the input parameter right okay so if you can see here that is by default it selected the re release destination as group so this destination id uh, destination ID is basically uh, showing the option but if I choose it uh, store then it became like destination ID as a mandatory right so now we will get how to create the uh, uh, we will be able to understand how to get the destination ID okay so before that as I mentioned we need uh, like uh, this uh, we need to invoke this API on on site this API uh, portal so before that i need to create the app center uh, uh, i would say uh, that is uh, my app api so i would be going to use app api token right so i'll go my app right inside my app i'm here and then i'll click uh, where i am setting and i am inside my app setting section and now i'll create app api token so what i'll do i'll just get a new api token demo api right and click full access it shows me uh api token so i what i'll click i just copy it here clicking on it and now i'll go to uh, the url i mentioned here that is called open api distribute list right so what i'll do i just click here and it will be redirect to me on store list open api uh, page where i can uh, I will be inputting this uh, the API token which I uh, uh, just uh, copied from here right so what I'll do I'll just click on first on this unlock icon then it will prompt me to enter the API token what I'll do I just paste it here and click authorize it authorized successfully and that's why it's been showing me logout and I click close now it's time to input the uh, click on try button and then we will input the owner name and app name so first i click on try it try it out otherwise it is showing me the read only mode right so what i'll click here try it and now you can see it's now become uh, it now became a uh, editable right right okay so now it's time to uh, get the owner name okay so as i mentioned inside my cc the owner name would be like this and app name like this so here is this is my uh, api uh, this is my app and you can see uh, my owner name is uh, for this app is called this so what i'll do i'll just copy it from here and paste it here right and then i'll copy the app name and paste it here right and then i'll click on execute button okay so click execute button then it process it and showing the result right so let me scroll down now you can see here that uh, response successfully right and here are the details right right so the first thing uh, like here is showing about the alpha store destination id if you are going to release your build on alpha store uh, uh, let me show you if you are going to release on alpha uh, alpha uh, alpha store as a your destination or distribution store id 
then you will be input here uh, the alpha value if you are going to release your build for beta then you will be having this beta right beta id similarly if you are going to uh, release the build for the production then you you have to use the production's uh, uh, id for as a distribution id okay so what i'll do uh, here is a production right okay so this way you can uh, get the the distribution id and the uh, distribution id or i would say the the uh, store uh, destination store id uh, for your uh, app to be uh, deployed on uh, on app store uh, app, either apple store or a google play store right? same will be work for you uh, for the ios or apple store once you have it again so these are the things uh, don't be uh, don't be forget to subscribe my channel and click on bell icon to get latest videos update thank you for watching